There's my truck camper. What I have here is a stack of two two by sixes that I have trimmed down to probably about four inches if you don't include the thickness of the carpeting. The reason I use this, there's a couple of reasons. One is if the camper were to shift forward in the front of the truck bed, that piece of lumber is going to distribute the weight across the entire front of the truck bed rather than putting all of the force on the sheet metal at these two bumpers which most camper manufacturers install on truck campers. The other reason is because these bumpers are just a little bit too high for the design of the front wall on my truck bed. And looking at the truck bed you can see how the sheet metal has a contour in it. Those bumpers hit right in the middle of this bend, the top of the bumpers do, or very close. So that spacer gets the front of the truck camper and those bumpers off the front of the truck bed. And this is what it looks like when it's in position. So I have, have it laid out here where the width of my two by six is cut down to about four inches it is front to back. I can also lay it up on edge like that, which then we're looking at the two two by sixes are stacked. So this would be the bottom one and this would be the top one like that. So laying it up on edge, then we have the narrower portion front to back and the taller portion or the bigger portion vertical. I have hauled the camper once or twice with it in this position, but it works better down like that. The previous segment where I was talking about how the bumpers were up up here, and you can actually see that in that video clip, that was a 2010 A11. I now have a 2018 992, and the bumpers, the top of the bumpers is even with this portion right there. The other model, the spot for the upper mounting hole, kind of hard to see here in my bad lighting, but that was even here so it was about another two and a half inches taller so with these bumpers they're lower than that bend in the sheet metal but i still want to use my spacer board just so that that if the camper did shift it's going to distribute the load across the entire front of the truck bed instead of putting all of the pressure right where those two bumpers are if we look here and take a measurement the top of the bumper is at 12 inches. The other model was at 14 and a half inches.